Thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Velimir Brockovich, We Love Safemoon.com, Murad Shaker, Victor Vegas, and Safemoon Oz for being higher level patrons. You can join that for as little as $1 a month. There is a link down in the description below. Also, thank you to my YouTube members. You can click the join button below this video if you'd like to show your support there. Please keep in mind, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. So I've got good news and I've got bad news. This video, frankly, the way that I look at it, it's bad news. But I will have a separate video up today on some other things that I think is good. So if you want to be able to check out that video, keep an eye out. I will have that going on. So this one is about one of the Safe Moon Swap partners. This is Poli Inu. They have decided to pull all their liquidity from the Safe Moon Swap. I'm going to be going over what they've said as well as what the community's point of views are on this, both from the Safe Moon side as well as what I believe is over on the Poli Inu side. Uh, or more specifically, I'm pulling from the Poli Inu's Reddit and their Twitter account. Okay, so Poli Inu, they said this earlier today. They said, in consultation with our whales, angel investors, and community, we have decided to pull all liquidity from Safe Moon Swap. All Poli holders are able to continue their trade to trade their token on Pancake Swap as usual. For more info on why, follow the links in my bio. Okay. And then continues on over here. There is a post over in the Poli token subreddit. It says, Poli will move forward from Safe Moon Swap to list on XT.com. Dear community, in consultation with our whales, angel investors, and community members, plus the core team, I have decided to pull all liquidity from SafeMoon Swap for the following reasons. One, the cross-chain swap was not delivered as promised. Two, we we're having to field issues related to the negative press surrounding SafeMoon, which is time consuming and distracting us from our company mission. Three, volume is extremely low on SafeMoon Swap. Four, our tokenomics are not working on SafeMoon Swap, which means we are not generating any profits from the swap. Overall, this is not a business endeavor where both parties are benefiting from being partners. As such, I will be pulling all liquidity shortly from SafeMoon Swap. All SafeMoon holders are able to continue to buy and sell their token on PancakeSwap, being that our liquidity pool is locked for five years there. In fact, we will more than likely add a little more liquidity to PancakeSwap to further shore up this well-established and fine working DEX. We will then continue on our mission of listing on XT.com, and we'll work to replace Safe Moon Swap with EverSwap as one of our supported decentralized exchanges. In addition, we have other amazing partners available for you to trade your tokens with, such as RBX, Bogged Finance, Flues, and Diamond Wallet, and then it's signed MLS. So Mr. Lightspeed98 is the lead poly mod. He's the one that published this article here. Let's go ahead and look through what some people are saying through their subreddit. First one says, SafeMoon is already in hot waters due to its foul play. They wasted our time and resources. Somebody else said, what hot water? And only use facts, not inaccurate posts from drink named Dinosaur Cheers. Somebody else said, makes sense. Someone else, good decision. Pulley community backs its team on every decision. Good for its community and project. We have XT and many good options on the list. Better to pursue that. Someone else says, gotta love a CEO that actually communicates with his holders with clear answers. Instead of hiding behind memes, props to you 100%. Another person says, as a safe moon holder, I already respect you infinitely more than our CEO. He has disappointed us and our partners every step of the way. Best of luck to you and your community. And then Pulley Leo responded by saying, this is one of the most respectful comments I've seen. Thank you. And then another response, based on this, you either a bot or just on here to FUD safe moon as the community. You never go in on John like this. Response was, have you been to SafeMoon's Reddit? Okay, now let's actually go through a couple others. So this is posted on the SafeMoon subreddit. It says, Poli Inu leaving SafeMoon Swap is an issue, their end, not ours. On we go. And it says, what's lame is not getting paid. This is from Mr. Lightspeed. What's lame is not getting paid. What we are doing in spite of months of trying to work it out. A business proposition is supposed to be good for both parties. Robot Party responded saying, wow, John wasn't paying what he owed you? Doesn't make any sense. His integrity with money management is the best in the business, or businesses. Mr. Lightspeed responded by saying specifically, the router wasn't forwarding our tax revenue, and no fix was found in three months. 
We can no longer bleed this loss in profits while SafeMoon is profiting on every trade themselves. It's non-sustainable. The community has spoken. Delisting is not a big deal. One simply moves on. That's how business works. And then Leading Storm responded by saying, if tokenomics isn't working, then that is a problem with Pulley's contract. It has nothing to do with the DEX itself. And Mr. Lightspeed responded by saying, which makes the reason for delisting a perfectly logical decision to make and in the best interest of my holders. All right. Well, now we're going to hop on over to the Twitter. Safe Moon Warrior had posted this information here. Let's see what some people said underneath that. Safe Moon Tim said, I guess he is Mr. Lightspeed? Question mark. I got banned quick. He would rather take his ball and run home to than to discuss the situation. It says you've been permanently banned from participating in Pulley News subreddit. Uh, and then we have Joel here who says, I think there's more to the story they're not telling us. Baal says the fact is there is no volume on the swap. That's fair, but clearly Pulley does not have enough volume itself to be listed on multiple exchanges at one time. So they're pulling the list on a trash exchange exchange to gain more liquidity. 65 Mon says, used us for a pump, then ran. Don't care anyways. Wasn't buying that BS project. They just want to hit different swaps for pumps with their low liquidity. But of course, they will hide the fact with blaming SafeMoon, even though we all know why Cross is on hold. Han Solo Jr. says, huh, Pulley must be paid to FUD SafeMoon due to jealousy or some other lame reason used by the army. Or maybe, just maybe, it's a smart move on their behalf because their eyes are open. Nurcho says, can you blame them? If you read the reasons they pull out, makes perfect sense. Cajun Geo says, uh, the negative events just keep pulling up for SafeMoon. How long before asking why it's mostly delays and bad news that comes out of SafeMoon is not FUD, but legit questions and concerns? Robbie responded by saying, I know, Poli Inu is huge. Blow to SafeMoon. What are your legit concerns? Um, and then we have Safe Mooner J that says maybe John Safe Moon would now see the importance of addressing the allegations against him, but I doubt it. Bow says over here, or sorry, bow it to Owen, I think is what it says there. Fair, but let's be honest. Basically, they don't have enough liquidity to be listed in multiple places, so they need to pull all liquidity to get listed in one place at a time. Gabe responded by saying, I don't think Safe Moon held up their end of the bargain. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. I mean, there's not exactly a lot of good press that's going on with SafeMoon. This isn't something that I look at and I'm like, oh boy, I'm more bullish on SafeMoon now. To me, this is bad news. Sucks. Poli has a right to make the decisions of this stuff for their own project unless there's some sort of conflict with the contract that they've signed with SafeMoon, but it doesn't sound like that appears to be the case. So... I don't know. I'd like to know what you guys think. I wanted to go over and show both sides of what people in the community that I see publicly are saying. Uh, so that way then I'm not being so subjective on this. But, you know, we're seeing a mixed bag. There are people that are still being pro Safe Moon for a couple of different reasons. And we're seeing people that are being pro Poli. Are you guys concerned about this? Do you think it's a big deal? Do you think this is warning signs of other things to come? Has this changed your point of view on anything? Uh, you know, just any thoughts in general. I'm just giving you some leading questions to kind of talk about. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. I do have referral links if you want to get free crypto, free stock. If you want to protect your crypto, you can use a cold storage wallet. There's a link in the description with a code for Elipal. You can get a discount if you use that. And if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button, click the bell icon. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Go do your own research. God bless, and I will see you in the next episode.